Hello, my name's John and welcome to another of my Toon Boom Harmony animation tutorial videos. In this series, which I've called Basics, I'm taking new users of Harmony right from the first time they've opened the software right through to making a first animation. This is the seventh video in the series and today I'm going to be showing you how to add things to the library and then create a new project and drag those things back into the new project. So, without further ado, we will crack on. Actually, before we crack on, if you are a new user or you haven't got a copy of Harmony yet, they do offer a free trial, so please click in the link in the description and go and get your free trial. So now we can get cracking. So this video um, shouldn't be too long, but what I'm going to cover is quite important. And like I said in the, my previous video, but this is a kind of one scene, one shot type animation, so you wouldn't naturally use the library really but most projects will use a multitude of different scenes and shots and cuts and things so you'll need, so you'll need to use the library quite a lot um, so even though I won't be needing it for this animation I'll show it to you anyway so obviously we have our character and our background and to add things to the library it's really simple and there's kind of two ways of doing it so I'll explain both ways first of all the library window is I generally put it up here in this uh, top right hand corner which is here the library window if you haven't got it, you click on the little plus symbol and add the library. And obviously you can add it to any of the other windows as well, so it depends on where you want it on the in your window. But I like it up here in the corner. So when you click on it, it looks a bit boring and blank. Um, but down here in our options, in our folders, we've got stage library. Now that's uh, kind of all the master sort of library folders for all of your projects. So if you click on the little arrow next to it, you'll see that I've currently got four. I've got the, my Minion series and I've got my other work projects that um, I'm currently working on or previously worked on. Now you can close these so you can um, right click on them and you can close library or open library if you don't want to see it anymore. So the first thing to do is to create a brand new folder, a brand new library for this project. Because again, it's similar to the palettes, it's always good to have a brand new folder, a new, a new library for every single project that you do. Um, and the way to do that is to click on the stage library, right click on it and go to um, right to modify. If you see that the new folder option is greyed out because you can't do that while it's locked, while it has a little padlock on it. So I'm going to click on right to modify, and now if I open it up again, I'll, all the padlocks have gone off the folders. So I'll right click on that and go to new folder, and again open it. I don't know why it keeps closing. Right click on this and rename, and we'll call this Batman, surprisingly enough. Um, so now, whatever's over here in this big black window under the folder is what's in that library. You'll see that I've got quite a few in here and a few in these other ones, but obviously nothing currently in the Batman one. So obviously we now need to add our, our character and our background into this library so that for, for use in our animation. So if you have premium, this is the way to do it. Uh, so we're going to go to the node view. I'll, I'll explain how to do it with the, on the timeline as well if you haven't got the node view and we'll find our Batman. So first of all, the, we need to put Batman into his own composite. So I'm going to, which is part of the rigging process, which I kind of missed out, so I'm sorry about that. So I'm going to get a new composite just very quickly, and I'm just going to connect all of the Batman bits up in order to a new composite. I'm trying to keep it all in the same order. leg and then this leg and then what else we've got left the cape okay there we go and I'm going to connect that for now back to the master composite and now what I'm going to do is select all of this stuff as well I'm going to highlight all the Batman parts if you can't do it select as much as you can and then hold down command and select the rest of it I'm going to group that and call this one um, Batman Master Group or something. So now we have the whole Batman character within his own group. So if I open it up again you'll see that. Linking into this composite which I'm going to again going to change to a pass through. So that's now ready to go. So to add him to the library in the node view the way you do it is you select First, we'll go to the timeline. Let's just open it up. So, first of all, go to the timeline, um, click on the first frame of your Batman master peg, 
and create a keyframe. Now you can either do it here on the timeline toolbar by clicking the little KF plus button, or you can just press F6. So make sure you select the whole lot and then make a keyframe. Now I'm going to select the group inside the node view and I'm going to copy it. So copy node like so. And then I'm going to go over to my window over here in my library and make sure I'm in my Batman folder. Click and go paste. And hopefully a little window should pop up in a second. There we go. Which says enter new name. I'll just keep it the same as so a Batman master group. Click OK. And now up here you'll see that we've got this Batman master group in the library. Okay, so that's the first stage done. So that, that's, that's how you do it. So it's that simple. Um, so what I'm going to do again is I'm going to go over to the Batman group. Again, I'm just going to make a keyframe down on the first frame of the Batman uh, master peg. I'm then going to copy the node and paste it into the group into the folder and call it what it is as it comes the standard name like so so now we have batman and the background inside our library through the node view um so if you haven't got the node view there's an, there's an easy way to do it as well and basically is you go to the timeline and you select the name of the character so in this case the batman master peg well, let's actually just take this. Let's take the group actually. Take the group and drag that and let go over the folder, and you'll and it will pop up. Rename it and the same before. I'll just cancel that for now. So we'll, we won't want two copies. Oh, it's giving me two copies, so we'll just get rid of that. And the same with the background. So that's how you do it from the timeline. So also, if you did want to um, add just a part of the body, so say, say you're doing a human body person that has different heads, you can add just the head, for example, to the library. So in the same way, also I haven't got a head in this case, but what you could do is take um, the top part, let's just say the leg here. We, we could take the leg and copy the leg and paste it in, and then you can drag that into your node view in another project. So say you're trying to flip the head, etc. You could connect two or three different heads, all within the name, node view, and then switch between them which is one way of doing it. So that, again, that, that works in the same way. And also you can create master templates of actions. So say you've got your character like Batman here running and you want and you'll use that run cycle over and over and over again through your production. You can simply come down to your timeline, select all of the um, keyframes and then drag the keyframes from the timeline, not the name. You drag the keyframes into your library and that copies all of that animation into your folder. And then when you want to kind of add that back in, you simply drag that over the timeline. And if you haven't changed your character in any way, like the, the, the order of the layers and stuff, it should just slip straight into the animation and your character will, 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 get, will naturally jump, sort of jump into his run cycle. So that's, that's another way of doing it. So again, if, you, if you've got certain key poses or key movement that your character does, you can save all of those individually as little master files by dragging the keyframe from the timeline into the, the window. I hope that's clear. Um, again, if that's not clear, please do leave a comment and let me know. Um, the next thing that I always like to do is go into each file and just check them and edit the template file. So to do that, again, make sure your layer is unlocked or your folder is unlocked. Right click on the um, folder and then say edit template. And you'll get another window pop up that will just have your character in it. And we'll be able to see hopefully just Batman. Okay, so we're now inside our template editor. Now if you're working on a Mac, you'll see that you'll have now two Harmony windows in your dock. One being the main Harmony stage window and the other one being the template editor. So if I go to the node view, you'll see that it's basically what we copied across to our library. is all there still. But one thing that I find quite annoying, and possibly that there's a way around this, is when you select the Batman character, in your palettes you'll see that the background palette has also come across with the character. Now I haven't used any colours from the background palette. Um, but it's brought it across. So I always find that quite annoying because if I've got, say, 10 characters and you drag only one of them into your into your um, project window at the time, it brings all the other palettes with 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 that character into your scene, which, which is sometimes quite annoying. So I always, I always go in and just delete the extra um, palettes that I don't need because I know that all the colours for Batman are under the Batman palette. So I'm going to get rid of everything. And then he is ready to go so I'm just going to save that. Like I said if you do change the layer structure of your character 
um, it, it might not be usable with your animation. So make sure that when you add it to the library that you are definitely sure that he's rigged perfectly ready for animation because any changes to the main sort of template character uh, will mean that you can't use any of your other templates. So say yes to that and that will save the template once again. And then you can close your template editing window. And I'm also going to go and do the same thing with the background. So just to make sure that it hasn't got any extra colours. Obviously again, as I said, as I said, this is a very simple scene, a very simple animation. So I, I don't really need to do this, but I would do it naturally for all my other productions. But if there's a way around it that I don't know, please do let me know. Because I would love to save myself the two or three minutes that I spend doing it. So here we go. I clicked on the background. And it's got all four palettes rather than... Um, just the one that I want. So I'm going to delete all the ones that aren't the background. Like so. And if we go to the node view and go in there, we'll just check. We've got all the blurs and everything all there. All the effects are still there. So that is ready to go. So again, I'm going to save that. Say Save onto that window. Right, and then we're going to close the edit template window. Okay, so we're now ready for the animation stage, which is very exciting. Um, so to, just to finish this tutorial off, what I want to do is I'm going to open up a new project for, for the animation and bring those files back from the library into the new project. And then in the next video, we'll sort of set the, all the different background pieces in 3D space and that kind of thing, get the scene set up. Um, so just to finish this off, we're going to do a new file. So file new. I'm going to set the location as being the Batman folder, which is here. I'm going to choose it and we're going to call this Batman Animation. And all the settings here are fine, so create that and save the current scene. Yep. I haven't done anything particularly, but I'll save it anyway just in case. And that will hopefully create a brand new project file for us. Yeah, there we go. So we've got now we've got a brand new empty project file. So to bring those things back in again, um, I'm going to go to the node view, I'm going to go to my stage library, and I'm going to open, click on my Batman folder. So once again, there's, there's, they're already there, automatically there for me. Because this is the kind of the global window, the kind of global libraries. Um, now if you've dragged something or created a, a, um, a template from the node view, try and always drag it back into the node view as well. As I said, and the same with the timeline. If you've created something from the timeline, drag it back to the timeline. So these two are both created in the node view. So I'm going to take Batman and I'm going to drag that folder and put it into the node view. And I'm going to take the background and put that into the node view. And then simply I'm going to delete this extra drawing. We won't need that. And I'm going to take the node down, bring the line down and connect it to the composite. And the same with the background. Now we go to the camera view, we'll see we have Batman and the background in the new project file ready for animation. Right, so I think that's it for today. I hope this video has made sense and has been nice and clear for you. As always, if it hasn't or if something's confused you, please do leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, if you'd like to watch a previous video, please click on one of the buttons above my head. And of course, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the red button uh, and to you know, keep up to date with all my latest videos. And I'll be back very, very shortly with another video. Okay, so thanks for watching and bye for now.